Hey guys, it's Dirt from DirtFromImagination.com and I'm in the office of Dirt Imagination and I got some news for you you probably already know but if you don't know you should take a look at uh, Games Workshop website and take a look at the new fraction for Age of Sigmar yes, the Edonit Dipkin the Edonit Dipkin, those are sea elves yeah, the underwater elves that are swimming with the fishes uh, uh, when I was young and I was starting with Warhammer, I uh, actually had an idea to uh, do a custom themed army uh, of sea elves, which would have some like uh, merfolk from the uh, Magic the Gathering themed characters and all that stuff. And now I got my dream. I got the figures. So, a short look at the video. A world die. I saw my people unmade, and the parasite god reign supreme. I thought to start my race anew, forged in the image of ancient glories, and I failed. But in the blackness, we found hope. So, as you can see, awesome sea elves. It's gonna be cool. Order some if you want. If you don't want, start wanting an order. We can paint them and they will be beautiful. Okay, let's go around the studio and check out what is happening. I'm here with Rafael and with some Sisters of Battle over here. Finished. Some assassins at level 5. Uh, we have a really beautiful Revenant Titan. I think I showed it already, or maybe I didn't. We have a ha half horn over here, the Beastman Bounty Hunter for Necromunda. We have some Blood Bowl Awesome Forge World models as well. Keep an eye out for those. Let's go to the painting area. Yeah. So, over here we have a Warlord Titan waiting for painting. And some bases for some more Titans. So there's gonna be a lot of Titans on level 6 I believe, or 5. Over here, this is an Ocean Tau army, it's gonna be a prize at a Grand Tournament. London Grand Tournament in London. <laughs> Michael's going to be playing those Tau and the winner of the tournament will get the army. Yes! He will get the army for free, for winning actually. This is how we are. And this is how we are supporting the community. Hope you like this. Okay. Over here, this is Michael's personal army. Some Chaos Renegades, Imperial Guard, and some Gustavus Knights because he's a power gamer. <laughs> So, we're in the painting area. Hi so, guys. Hi. Let's do a... Awesome. So you have some Chaos Wars for me too, yes? Yes, this is the uh, Nurgle part of the uh, Chaos Dwarf Commission. Mm -hmm. We got some um, plague uh, ogres here. With airbrush down and uh, some masking here uh, still on it because I'm obviously airbrushing uh, the rest of the mm -hmm. commission. We got some lovely uh, Nurgle toads. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. I agree. Nice color scheme. Yeah. And some riders to them, still on up to some colors, and some bio trolls. They're early stage, Super. as you can see. I really like the fold rolled miniatures. Awesome. Yeah, the Nurgle part is really good because the uh, misfits in the resin are actually <laughs> working on... The Nurgle's favor, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, over here, more I'm on cases. Uh, weapon duty. Yeah. <laughs> fold rolled, infantry weapons. Hey Magda. Hello. So you're working on some Alpha Legion. Alpha Legion, yeah. 
early, work in progress. She just yeah, begun. I'm just so preparing. Nothing to show. Uh, Natalia has some bull centers for the Chaos Army as well. Over here, our new painter, Edita. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> She has some Raven Guard working, looking beautiful. Those are her first miniatures and I must say this is a really good start. Martha is working on them as well. Okay. Over here some purple Mechanicus infantry. The Titans that I were, was talking about earlier work in progress over here. I really like the red. Here the diorama is getting color. Do you remember it? It was without color earlier. Over right here. Minotaur. And the dragon. He's going to be standing over right here, defending his treasures. And the heroes are going to be fighting him. Some more work in progress on the I think armor. So, the towel. Big model with a custom theme base. Some vine and vine on the model. So, the theme is here that he is standing unoperational for a while. And then he like got himself a pilot and start feeding us. Robert is doing some base for the models from the diorama because the models are magnetized and they can be placed on the display base for eye candy or used on those bases for gaming. And Robert is doing some Cadian uh, Armia. So that's all from us for today. I hope you enjoyed the studio update. And be sure to like the video, leave a comment, tell us what you think about the new fraction for Warhammer Age of Sigmar, and click that like button, because I like it when you click the like button. I really do. Okay guys, thank you for watching, and bye bye.